So which counties in England have zero cities to their name? Well, time was there were plenty. Then Queen Victoria came along and started turning big industrial towns into cities. Now we're down to just 11. But what are they? Well, we're about to find out. Oh, and to give it some extra showbiz touch, I'm presenting this as a top 11 countdown in order of geographical area from smallest to largest. And with some fancy new map graphics thrown in. So let's get to it. Number 11. First off, we have England's only county entirely separate from the mainland, Isle of Wight. Historically, the Isle of Wight was part of Hampshire up until 1890 when it became a county in its own right. It does still share a police force with Hampshire and a Portsmouth postcode prefix throughout the island. Now, I should explain that towns can apply for city status on certain occasions, usually in the run to a jubilee year, and the presence of an Anglican cathedral as a prerequisite has long since been scrapped. Various towns that will feature on this list had their applications rejected in 2022, including the Isle of Wight's county town of Newport. This isn't a slight in any way, as only about 20% of towns that applied were upgraded. Number 10. Next is a county almost identical in size to the Isle of Wight. Or to put it another way, England's smallest historic county, Rutland. Of course, it may come as no surprise that there are no cities in Rutland, but what is worthy of note is that this is a county of just two towns and one railway station, giving it an almost mythical feel. The thatched roofs of the county town of Oakham certainly add to this rustic mystique. Number 9. Now a county whose claims to fame include the Pilgrim's Progress, a former hat-making industry, and the band Jethro Tull, and that county is Bedfordshire. Whilst there aren't any cities in Bedfordshire, it is home to one of England's biggest towns, namely Luton. With a population of over 200,000, it almost feels strange to even call it a town. A bid to make it a city at the 2012 Diamond Jubilee was unsuccessful, and neither Luton nor the county town of Bedford have applied since. Number 8. Here's a county that's home to a royal residence, a major horse racing festival, and, according to David Brent, Europe's biggest trading estate. It is Berkshire. As these cityless counties get bigger, you'll notice a recurring theme that of counties with particularly large towns. In Berkshire's case, its largest is Reading, having clocked in at over 200,000 residents at the last census. Its bid for city status in 2022 was rejected. Number 7. Next is the most expensive county in England outside of Greater London, Surrey. In addition to having no cities, Surrey can also make a good case for having the most confusing county town situation. Since 2021, its administrative headquarters have been at Rygate. Before then, it was Kingston-upon-Thames, which hasn't even been in Surrey since 1965. And historically, Guildford was considered the county town. Speaking of Guildford, the town's local football team is called Guildford City. This came about as seemingly an attempt to manifest city status into an existence. This hasn't worked, not yet at least, leaving the team with this somewhat awkward name. Number 6. And now we come to Shakespeare's County, which is of course Warwickshire. This one comes with an asterisk, as the historic county of Warwickshire did have two cities, namely Birmingham and Coventry. And it's worth mentioning that Coventry predates Birmingham by over 700 years in terms of city status. But in 1974, the ceremonial county of West Midlands was created. This new county, with its confusing name and strange panhandle shape, swallowed up both Birmingham and Coventry, leaving Warwickshire without a city of its own ever since. 
As for the county town, well, Warwick's application for city status was rejected in 2022, though as it happens, this is only the county's fourth largest town behind Nuneaton Rugby and Leamington Spa. Number five. And now it's time for me to talk a load of old cobblers. As next up is the historic shoemaking county of Northamptonshire. Now this is a county abound in charming market towns with stunning parish churches. Its biggest town by a clear margin is Northampton with a stonking population of over 240,000. This erstwhile giant of the shoemaking industry did apply for city status at the Platinum Jubilee, but was rejected. A decision I can only assume the locals felt to be a load of cobblers. Number four. Now for a trip to the seaside and a county with a coastline of Jurassic proportions, Dorset. Historically, Dorset has always been mostly a rural county, although its largest town was actually in Hampshire up until 1974, when the county borders were tinkered with. I'm referring, of course, to Bournemouth. A bid was made at the 2022 Jubilee for Bournemouth to follow in the footsteps of Brighton and Hove and Southend-on-Sea in becoming a seaside city, alongside another bid from the county town of Dorchester, but to no avail on both counts. Number three. The third largest county in England without a city is found in the Midlands, separated from Wales by a legendary ditch carved out by King Offa of Mercia, Shropshire. Whilst a case could certainly be made for the county town of Shrewsbury to become a city, it seems that Shropshire Council feel otherwise, as they made no bid at the 2022 Jubilee. This could in part be down to apathy, with it having previous applications rejected for both Shrewsbury and Telford back in 2000 and 2002. Number two. For England's second largest cityless county, we now head east. All the way east, in fact, to the county of Suffolk. Now, the idea of a city in the county that inspired Gainsborough and Constable to take up art may seem a little hard to imagine at first, but there is talk of turning the county town of Ipswich into a city. No application was made for the 2022 Jubilee, but a website has since been put together promoting the idea for the future. Also, there is a town in Suffolk which on first glance seems like an ancient cathedral city, namely Bury St Edmunds. However, the Anglican Cathedral found here was a mere parish church up until 1914, so nearly 400 years too late for Henry VIII to make it a city automatically. Number one. And for the biggest county in England without a city, we move from the most easterly county to the most northerly. It is Northumberland. In stark contrast to the neighbouring county of Tyne and Weir, Northumberland is one of the most rural counties in England, with not a single town exceeding a population of 50,000 to be found here. Its past may have something to do with it, as priorities may have been geared more towards keeping the Scots at bay during the medieval wars, which accounts for the numerous castles and fortifications seen here. As far as city status goes, no bids were made in 2022, and I dare say they're fine remaining a county of towns, villages and hamlets. And those are the 11 counties of England which, as of yet, have no cities. Thanks for watching and have a great day.